Well, hey everybody, it's Atlan. How's it going? Today I want to show you a very cool trick. Something very simple, very easy to do. If you're looking to shave some of the weight off of a Hennessy Expedition hammock or any Hennessy hammock with a, uh, a Spectra cord line. Now, if you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you know that I had the Hennessy as my main hammock it, uh, for many years. Uh, but I was always scared to change out the suspension on it because it was my primary hammock. And I'm not a big, huge DIYer, so I was afraid I was going to screw something up. So when I got my Dream Hammock Raven, I decided, well, now's a good time to try to swap out the suspension on the Hennessy hammock. And I can loan it out to friends. I can use it as a backup, spare, or whatever. It'll be a lot lighter. In fact, I'm getting ready to head on a backpacking trip next weekend. And I'm going to be loaning the Hennessy out to a friend who doesn't have a real good camping hammock. And uh, so I'm trying to get it lightened up for him, get it ready to go. So I'm working on it right now. Thought it'd be a perfect time to show you guys how to do this because it's so simple. And there's a million videos out there on YouTube on how to do this. This is nothing new that I'm going to be showing you, but hopefully a few of you who do subscribe to my channel might get some use out of this if you have the Hennessy. I've already removed the Spectra cord from both ends of the hammock. That's really super easy though. I'll talk you through it here in a minute. And what I'm going to show you is what I'm going to be using is continuous loops from Dutchware. So for this hammock, you can use either the 8 inch or the 15 inch continuous loop suspensions. I went with the 15 inch and you'll see why here in a little bit why I went with that. As you can see with the uh, buckles, you need a little bit more room for that. And just in, for the Hennessy's in general, you need a little bit more suspension length for the continuous loop. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to put that on. And so let's go, uh, let's go check it out. Come on. All right, everybody, this is the Spectra cord that I was talking about that I've already removed. This is great stuff. I have to say, it does work really, really well. It's super, super strong. It's very long. It keeps the uh, hammock, you know, nice and uh, nice and secure. I always felt good when I hung with this. It's, it's nice stuff, but it's extremely heavy. It, you know, removing this right here is going to shave several ounces off of your hammock weight. And if that's what you want to do with your Hennessy, uh, you got to remove this stuff. You got you got to take it off. But you know, for beginners, it's fantastic. It's great. Again, I would never ever use this directly on a tree. If you have this on your Hennessy, you want to make sure that you wrap this through some straps. And they do provide seatbelt style straps that you wrap it through. It works great. You don't even have to use hardware. When I first started using uh, the Hennessy, I was using uh, carabiner climbing carabiners, which were super heavy. Then I went to descending rings, and then I learned about the Beckett hitch. And if you have not used the Beckett hitch, that's all you need with this and the seatbelt buckle straps. That's all. You don't need any hardware with it at all. But I have already removed these, so they're gone off the Hennessy. Like I said, I add this to one, one end already with a buckle. It's just an aluminum buckle from another hammock that I had. Uh, but these are the 15-inch straps, and it's attached. And, and I reattached the sheath that it comes with, so I'm going to show you what that's all about. When you go to remove these straps, you're gonna to have to take off this sheath. I don't really know what the functional benefit of this is. I think it's more of a, just an aesthetic thing, but it does have a plastic zip tie on the end. You'll have to snip that zip tie and remove it. Once you do that, you'll just pull it straight off the end. And this is the end you'll see here. For the Hennessy Expedition, it comes like this. There are two holes that are burnt through and the spectra cord is actually wrapped through there several times they do some very elaborate knots you don't have to do anything that elaborate when you're putting the continuous loops on i got this straight out of derek hansen's uh the ultimate hang book version 2 shows you how to hang with one simple flip through super easy you do not need to do anything super fancy and i'm going to show you how to do that here in a minute this cord you see right here, this is the ridge line. You want to be very careful that that doesn't pull out through because it would be a nightmare to try to get it back in. Uh, so be very careful. What I actually did while I was waiting for my, uh, my loops to come, I tied a little piece of cord right here. I tied that through and just made a little knot there. That way it didn't uh, slip out or anything. But my, then my cords came in so I can remove that. Let's do that. So what I'm going to do is I want to make sure... This is the berry. This is the part where they actually spliced in um, the, the two ends together. You want to kind of keep that up here. You don't want to be, as a best practice, I would say, you don't want to use that as your end to hang from. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the berry further down here towards where I'm going to loop it. 
I'm gonna make a take the loop end right here. First hole right here. I'm going to put this up through. It takes a little bit of work, but it's not difficult. And I'm just going to push it through. If you have problems with it, remember that little cord that I told you about? What you can do, wrap that around that loop and put that through instead. That will be a much easier to work with. And then just pull it through like that. Super simple, right? Okay. Now, now that I've got through that first hole, I want to make sure that it is lined up the way I want to use it. Like that. I'm going to take it, I'm going to put it through my ridge line loop. Okay, so there's my ridge line. Pull it through. Like that. Everybody see that? And then I'm going to take this working end and I'm going to put it back through the other hole. Just like that. Again, I mean, you may want to use your trusty little smaller cord. Just helps it make, make it go easier, in my opinion. Because that way you can just put them through. I'm going to put that through. Pull that through. So it should look something like that. So that way your ridge line is secured between the cords. I'm going to take this end right here. I'm going to come up and I'm going to pull it through. And I'm just going to take it. And I'm going to pull. Until it's tight. See what I did there? Made it as tight as I possibly could right there. There we go. And that right there, that's your continuous loop right there, folks. Now, if you end up like I just did here with this, the berry part further down than you want it, maybe you want it back here a little bit, you can just kind of back it out a little bit. In fact, let's do that. Pull it tight. There we go. Now I've got a nice, clean, continuous loop. It's just all the same length, pretty much. Now, what if I want to put this uh, sheath back on? This is totally optional. You don't necessarily have to. But what it does is it keeps this nice and contained, and it just looks a lot prettier. I'm going to put it back on. I put a new zip tie through that. That's probably the hardest part, honestly, fishing that zip tie back through there. But you just basically take it and push, keep pushing and pushing it until it comes through the hole and you're good to go. So let's do that. And you'll just have to work with it basically and and make it work. Until it decides to come out. I kind of just keep pushing it here and just keep working it through like that. Amp still is a little bit stiff, so it'll work. So there it goes. See, poked through. My little cords out. Now I'm going to take the sheath. And I'm just going to pull it down. Just like it was. Just like brand new. I'm going to pull it down as far as I can. Make sure that it's covered in this part. Nice and solid. Looks pretty good to me. What do you think? How's that look? So now I can just take the zip tie and put it through. So I'm just going to put it right through here. And I'm going to tighten it as tight as I possibly can. Make sure that it's far down here as I can get it. And just tighten it. And that'll secure it. And you'll definitely want to snip this piece off, of course. Careful not to cut the fabric, but you want to get as close as you possibly can because you don't want any sharp plastic. You can, if you're really anal, you can uh, file that down even more, but I haven't seen a need to do that. I'm just going to try to cut a little bit closer. That's pretty good. I think that's pretty 
It's not bad. Pretty good. All right, folks, and that is it right there. That is the continuous loop on the Hennessy Expedition ASIM hammock. That's all you have to do if you want to put the continuous loops on. If you want to go a step farther, you can do what I did, which is I actually added another piece of hardware. I added these buckles on, these cinch buckles. Very, very simple and very effective. That way, your system's all ready to go and you don't have to do anything else with it. Just attach them to the straps, hang the straps to the tree, and you're good to go. So I'm gonna show you how to put these on real quick. I'm gonna take my working end right here, like this. I'm gonna come under, and it's a lot like if you've ever done a prussic knot. That's basically what you're doing, kind of, kind of same thing. I'm gonna take this loop, Go under. I suggest, depending on the size of your buckle, doing it at least two or three times. At least two, preferably three or more. And I'm just going to tighten it like that. I'm going to come up under again. See how I did that? There you go. Good enough. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull this out. So just I have a little bit of slack here. I'm going to take this end here. I'm going to wrap it around like this. So that it makes the loop like that. Oops, there we go. I'm going to pull that as tight as I possibly can make it. Make sure they're nice and clean. I'm very particular about that. But there it is. Super simple. Super easy to do. And there it is. That is my buckle system ready to go. You want to go try this out? Let's go try it out. All right, so there is the finished product. The continuous loops on the buckle connected to a strap running up to my tree there. Same thing on the other end. I got different colors continuous loops. I have a gray one for my foot end, a red one for the red because this is an asymmetrical hammock. I didn't do that on other hammocks, but you know, you can kind of do that. You can mix and match. You can get these really cheaply from Dutchware. Like I said, these, these 15 inch uh, continuous loops and there you go. Great way to lighten up the hammock. All right, everybody, well, that's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. If you like stuff like this, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe for lots more camping, hiking, and backpacking related stuff. Thank you all for watching. I'll talk to you real soon.